is going on you guys my fine my divine ass feminine i had to jump in and do this message for you guys right now in the middle of my monthlies because i feel like i have not actually done a divine feminine monthly reading in a minute because we've been going live so i said hold on before we even get the leo or any other month let me come through real quick and give my divine my fine ass feminine some nourishment all right for the mid month of august from the 15th through the 31st shout out to all my loves that's clicked this video i am so sorry that i've kept y'all waiting baby i hope that you guys have been getting all of the information and the clarity that y'all been needing to get in regards to your love lives and stuff and you know the what's coming next and the different little lives and the teas and all of that stuff oh and i'm bringing the tea back I'm bringing the tea back, y'all. So, listen, don't fret. Don't worry. The tea is coming back, y'all. The tea is coming back. So, listen. Ooh, I might bring back them sex scandals and secrets, too. Ooh, bitch, I'm about to bring some of these shits. I'm about to bring it on back like a crack, y'all. Y'all better all right now. I'm doing it. You all right now. Okay, listen. For my divine, my fine feminine, if you're new to the channel, we cut up. We have a lot of fun over here, so welcome 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 um if there is anyone that i would like to book a personal or private reading with me my booking page is down right now so if you want to book with me only thing you need to do is message me on my instagram link or you can send me a message on google hangouts or just simply email me we'll discuss uh what type of reading it is that you're looking for you can still go on my booking page to look through the menu to see what type of reading it is that you want so I'll still check my booking page out i will be getting that resolved and fixed i don't know what the hell they did they got my thing all locked where can't nobody it looks like i have no availability ever and I don't know what the hell they need to fix that shit. But anyway, so if you guys want to book a reading with me, just send me a message on Instagram. Send me a message on Google Hangouts. You can use my email, which is scorpionreds at gmail.com. Google Hangouts is a simple um, app to download. Um, and typically, once you um, pay for your reading, we always do the video chat for your reading. I on Instagram or Google Hangout anyway, so you guys can just communicate with me through there. But if you want to, you can send me an email as well, again, which is scorpionreds at gmail.com. If these videos resonate at any time, of course, you can always support by clicking the like button, uh, like sharing and subscribing. If the spirit moves you, if you want to um, give some more support to the page, you can feel free to um, support ever through Cash App. Uh, PayPal or you can check out my Amazon wish list. Um, we got a new deck. We have here the music oracle deck So you guys are going to be experiencing this today. Um, it's been really cool with our um, all of the other readings So let's see how this applies over here with my fine and my divine feminine So um, shout out to everyone for clicking this video. Let's get into the energy Father God Thank you so much for bringing my collector, my gatherers here, my fire, my divine ass feminine. Thank you so much for uplifting us and keeping us highly elevated and keeping our vibrations high, Father God. Um, as you've been bringing us through these journeys, you know the end of the year is coming quicker than we realize it, Father God. We have triumphed all the way through to this point. I don't know about nobody else, but... Those tired moments that I just recently experienced, I, I don't know about nobody else, but it's always the way that you look at things. I swear to God, you know what I'm saying? Because I've been praying and I've been asking for a new beginning and that's exactly what God has been giving to me. And to anyone else, it might have could have looked like a disaster. Like, God, girl, you just lost me. this and this and that. This and that. Ooh, God. Honey, I'm good about it. I'm so good about it. Like, oh my gosh, like. God has opened up a door for me to literally that five of pentacles mindset, that mentality, that way of being, that way of feeling like you don't have, you're in lack, you are missing something, you're waiting for something. Like I and you, like those days are gone. Like and, and it literally had to come in the way of a storm coming through and just washing everything away that just didn't need to be there and completely us being pushed along through the you know what I'm saying through the flood and it's moving it moved to somewhere else 
when everything dried up, we're in fucking paradise somewhere. <laughs> like, I, I mean, we're just not even in the same place anymore. And I, I, really, a lot of people have moved. A lot of people have packed up. A lot of people have made very, very big transitions. Some of us have taken, has have downsized to take one step back, to take two, maybe three steps forward. Okay? Because remember we said this year was the takeover. This year was the takeover. Oh, 2020? <laughs> Show me the money. That's what the whole, that's going to be the whole theme of 2020. Show me the money. Show me the money. You want the truth? You can't handle the truth. Show me the money, honey. Last year was the takeover. Listen, the wait is over. It was the takeover. This, this year is the takeover. 2020 is show me the money, baby. All right? It's about stacks on stacks on stacks. About racks on racks on wax. Rack city, bitch. Rack, rack city. So listen. Father, thank you so much because right now we are in alignment and we are getting prepared. Getting prepared because if you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready. A lot of us have been studying. A lot of us have been enriching in ourselves and our lives. So when it comes time to reap the benefits and the reward of everything that we've been doing thus far, we are prepared for it. We know how to handle it. We know how to manage it. And we know how to what? Maintain it. Come on, Father. Come on through with a word today. Father, come on, Spirit of Vegas. Hold on. We know how to handle it, manage it, and maintain it. Uh -huh. ha, ha. Ha, ha. Say it with me. Ha, ha. Yeah, young grasshopper. Come on, wax on, wax off, Daniel, son. All right? All right. Ch -ch -ch. We reloaded. Load up the gap, baby. When you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready. Father God, thank you so much for blessing us with the wisdom and allowing us to be prepared and claiming it and calling it in, Father God, listen it. Love and light of manifestation and being this divine goddess energy, honey. We are walking it and we are talking it. These boots are made for walking and that's just what I do. <laughs> These boots are made for walking right over you, honey. Anyway, I'm talking too much, Father God. Let's get into this reading today, Father. Please give us guidance. Because these ladies said they boots are made for walking and that's just what they do, Okay. These boots are made for walking right on on to you, Father. We walking right on to you, Father. You walking us to glory. You taking us towards our story, okay? Our salvation, our testimony. Father, give us guidance today. Help us continue to walk forth in our path and prepare our footsteps towards victory, Father. Give us guidance. For mid-August, the 15th through the 31st, and thank you so much for just preparing us. And, you know, this is a timeless, limitless message. This message is for whenever, for whenever. All right? Give us guidance today. Thank you so much for our daily bread. Amen. All right. Yes. 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 All right. Let's get into this. I'm fine and my divine feminine. Let's see what you're living in. My father, my divine feminine. What beat is our drum rocking to for mid-August? Give us some divine guidance in regards to the music of our life right now, Father God. All our spiritual guides, universe. Ooh, what is this? Frank Sinatra. Okay, I reloaded me. Hold on. New York, New York, the city of dreams, baby. Let's see what this says. Everyone looks up to the guy behind the guy. Come no, hold up. Load up the gat. Load it up. I'm reloaded. Hold on. Everyone looks up to the guy behind the guy. Okay. Okay. Fly yourself to the moon of your choice. Didn't we say, Father, we, our footsteps have been propelled? Did we not say our footsteps? Okay, come on, Father, because you're doing me right now. You're doing me, okay? Says only, see, you only get one shot at life. Aim high. Come on, Mr. Sinatra. Big Sinatra, if you bad and if you nasty. Big Sinatra, Big Frank. Big Frankie. 
<laughs> New York, New York, the city of dreams. Everyone looks up to the guy behind the guy, okay? Everyone looks up to you, boo. You, 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 honey. Fly yourself to the moon of your choice. You only get one shot at life, so aim high. Come on, father. Come on, father. Father, why bother? Why bother? Come on, listen. Listen to me. Why bother? Listen, you already know we aiming high. You already know we with you. <laughs> Give us guidance because... Father told us to aim high and stay on this victory lap, okay? Stay on this victory lap. Don't give up no slack. Keep going, baby. Mm-hmm. We going to the moon and beyond, okay? Let's see. Okay, I reloaded. Let's get it. What's going on with my friend and my divine? Ooh, that devil in the reverse, honey. That devil in the reverse. We gotta shake him off. Cause his love is insane. And I, I, he keep on playing game. And all the things that they, we gotta shake him off. Bitch. Why'd you even on our table? You was unstable. You was a fable. What is you doing? What is you doing, sir? I don't even like you. What is you doing, boy? Boy, always be trying to be in our business because you see it's going somewhere. Why? You can't go with us. You ain't got nothing to do with none of that business, okay? You mad because you got shook and took somewhere? Why? Because we don't love you no more, okay? We don't love you. You ain't love me. You just loved our doggy style. You liked how you see them cheeks clapping from the back, Okay? You like to, the way them cheeks was clapping from the back. You can't see it no more, baby. You can't see it no more, baby. We don't love that energy no more, baby. Okay? Nancy, so you see how that fish jumped his ass right back in the goddamn water, right? Go back where you came from. Return to cinder. We ain't got nothing to do with you. See, Nancy, so let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Didn't I tell you whenever the Lord be trying to come through with a word of victory and trying to, you know, acknowledge us for how far we have gone, our growth and stuff, bitch motherfuckers come lurking around be like, yeah, but you know, remember back in the day when you was in that third party situation? Remember back in the day when you was fucking with that fuck nigga or you was messed up with that bitch that was cheating on you and blah, blah, blah. I, I don't care about that. Do I talk to this motherfucker no more? No. So what did you mention it for? Boy. Don't be trying to remind me of no bullshit from my past. Bye-bye. Fuck out of here, okay? Go on over there and go take a rest somewhere and sit your ass down and marinate, okay? Because then we tell you that our ships have came in and then we are skipping on to a more balanced, a more luxurious in a more creative and abundant situation. Then we tell you that we over here sitting high, sitting pretty, sitting pretty like Diddy. We got niggas running off fetching us some cheesecake at Julian's. Didn't we tell you we was in New York, New York, the city of your dreams? It ain't no fable. It ain't, it's all of what it seems, bitch. You, I, we already told you where we was going, okay? The world, the city is ours. You don't see the backdrop, baby. This is the big city, honey. The city of lights, baby. What you thought? What you thought? <laughs> what the fuck you thought, honey? Judgment Day has become upon us. You understand? So right now, we are at our victory lap, and we are at the tail end, and the Lord has summoned us and said, Girl, you've been doing good. You, 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 boo, you've been doing good. Come on over here. Let me talk to you. Let me talk to you. I like how you've been in control. I like how you've been on your scroll. I like how you've been on your gold, and you let not Fuck shit distract you. Did you block it? Did you drop it? Did you stop it? Girl, it is your world. Let me congratulate you. Oh, the high row font. Indeed. Indeed. Thank you for listening to me. Thank you for listening to me and releasing and not even participating in fuck shit battles that don't have nothing. You don't vibrate on that energy, honey. Look, you ain't even pick up the sticks. You ain't even pick, pick up the sticks. You had the sticks in your trunk. You did. You know that's what, you know, 
You know that's what the kids nowadays call guns and ammo, artillery, protection. They call it sticks. You understand what I'm saying? You had the sticks in the trunk. But you ain't want to have to dump them on nobody. You ain't. You just said, listen, y'all ain't want this stress trouble. Listen, you ain't you don't want this stress trouble. You ain't know I got them sticks. I ain't know you had the sticks. Okay? The, the, the Lord said, the Lord said, baby, I need you to be in control. I need you to be on your scroll. I need you to be on your goal, honey. Don't pick up the sticks. Don't get violent. Okay, don't get violent. You ain't got to fight with people. and We don't compete with nobody. Okay, as long as you listen to me, you are going to be on the right path. So don't let these motherfuckers make an ass of you. And I am glad that you blocked and dropped it. That you stopped it. Girl, let me reward you. Let me come here. Come forth, Empress. Come forth, Empress. Didn't I tell you? Last time I talked to you, we were going to Wakanda. We were going to the motherland. Come on, let me show you the fruitfulness. Let me show you to your dynasty. Girl, thank you for reminding me that I got a gift for you, for you stopping this bullshit, for you not even participating in fuckery. Okay? We are in New York, New York, the city of dreams. Everyone looks up to the guy behind the guy. Okay? And we've been looking up to you, God. We've been listening to you, God. Listen, you told us to stay in control and to stay on your path and to listen to me. Let me teach you a better way. We have. We have. Oh, gosh. God said we got, listen. He, he, listen. Okay, come on. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's keep showing them. Let's keep showing them that they don't have no, they don't. You don't belong here on this ride. You need to go somewhere. You're not tall enough. You know, like when you be wanting to get on the roller coaster shit, you're not tall enough, okay? You're just a you're just an immature page. You're just a child. You haven't learned your ways. You're still emotionally a little fickle, little pickle. Bitch, we don't have time for fickle pickle shit. We don't like rancid. Isn't like pickles like old ass, like fucking cucumbers and shit. I like regular crunchy, more healthier cucumbers. That shit sounds like it got a lot of sodium, a lot of salt, and just like, I don't want I don't want no fickle pack up. Okay, so, okay. Anyway, let's clarify this Empress energy and, and us being in control with this Emperor. Okay, come on. The Joker. The Joker. We playing poker, bitch. We playing poker, not spades. This is a game of risk. Okay? This is a game of risk, and no reward comes without a little bit of risk. So I feel like the Divine Feminine is on her rebel shit right now. You on your rebel shit, okay, girl? You was on your rebel. Uh-uh, we ain't doing all that. We Let me put that back. Y'all ain't see that. Y'all ain't see that. We on, <laughs> we on our rebel shit. What is this? The Ace of Spades. This is the Death card. Boop, boop, boop. Let me speak into the mic. Thank you so much for your participation in the lessons learned in the past. Thank you so much for your participation. That door is closed. There is no more access to that park. That was an adventure from yesteryears. We are moving on to the future, future, future. That is old, old, old. Thank you so much for your learning and participation in that stage in our life. Chapters close. Okay. That's what, that was the announcement from Spirit. Yeah. That Ace of Spades means there was a closure. It took, a, listen, we had to take a risk. Because the shit is still there. The shit is still present. And as I told you, spades are never particularly a good suit to be in depending on what it is you know what I'm saying because this is saying that we're making an announcement you see that green that evergreen that effervescence that um I feel that green means health good health good fortune luck prosperity abundance fruitfulness Vast, lush lands, uh, harvest, you know what I'm saying? Somewhere where we can plant a seed and start a new beginning. So that's what we're announcing to the world. We had to take, we had to be a rebel. We had to be a rebel 
that sacral chakra we had to really feel in rebirth ourselves and get that volatility like i said the empress we are rebirthing something new and like i said it was all about i want to say like clearing i want to say a lot of us had to move we really had to uproot ourselves and move a lot of us do not live in the same place anymore even if we do this empress y'all bought all new furniture like Y'all changed your hair. Y'all wear makeup now. Like you guys are taking a risk with your look, with your outlook, with your appearance. You guys are a little bit more bold. You guys are literally on your pay. I mean, it's just a complete change. And it's an announcement to the world. I really do feel like your ships have come in. You have a different level of resources and vastness and abundance with you that you carry yourself in now and it's all about rock and roll it's time to rock and roll you know it's not time to worry about shit from yesteryear shit from yesteryear you don't have faith in it anymore and i really feel like you need to take a risk to walk away from this and not believe in attaching yourself to that anymore let's clarify this devil in reverse in this page of cups in the reverse what is this it's the King of Hearts, that Michael Jackson, but you can tell Billie Jean to beat it, okay? Because Billie Jean is not my lover. He's just a motherfucker, okay? Billie Jean is not my lover. Is that what he was saying to you? She's just a girl, one that I never loved, and the kid is not my son. I don't give a fuck, okay? We don't care. We don't care about what's going on over there, okay? So it looks like y'all might have had a King of Cups, a Cancer Pisces, a Scorpio, King of Hearts. You know what I'm saying? King of Hearts. But you told Billy Jean and his ass to beat it. You told him to beat it. <laughs> you knew what you had to do with that uh, solar plexi chakra. You knew what you had to do. You knew what you had to do. This person was a very loving man, but he was a little too fucking loving. Okay? All right? You see how you blind to him? Look, you blind to him. You Ray Charles blind. Is that Ray Charles? You Ray Charles blind to the bullshit. You are blind to the bullshit. I really do feel like that this King of Hearts here, this King of Cups, like you said, you really do, you realize that this connection with this person, number one, it, this person had numerous affairs on you. You felt like this person was very immature, very handsome. And pro listen, I don't know, this person was probably very talented as well um, in the art of love making. <laughs> very talented but just emotionally this person was immature and you just it was too much negative shit attached to them to their heart <laughs> you're blind to the bullshit you're blind to the bullshit this nine of clubs represents to me someone someone the nine of clubs to me is like the nine of wands. It's like the nine of wands. I feel like you're guarding, you're protecting yourself from this person. You're blind to the bullshit. Um, not only that, um, clubs represents business, friendships, stability, finances, your social activity, your actions, like sports, networking, teaching and learning. So this situation was a teaching and learning experience nine represents cycles completion politics you understand so you learn the politics surrounding the situation you learn that you are better off left alone that you work well and you thrive better when you're blinded to bullshit like this yes this person is very attractive and is an extreme passionate lover when they want to be good but there's so much bad and bullshit behind this person it's like it don't even have to do with a specific person. It has to do with energies like this person. You guys are completely blind to the bullshit. People like this is not about one specific person because it's the same shit, different toilet. And I really do feel like even afterwards, this energy was popping up in different forms and now we're at the point where we're completely blind to people like that and we laugh at it and we're guarded and we protect ourselves from people it's not even 
a struggle anymore. Like, we really laugh at this shit now. It's not a struggle anymore. It's not a struggle. That crown chakra, that purple, that's understanding. Like, we are completely healed. And we have a level of understanding about the loss, the loss and the grief that was associated with that. It, it helped us to elevate ourselves and it put us on our right path to where we're going. And like I said, it was a risk, but we had to be a rebel. And now we're able to speak it into the mind clearly and efficiently and call it in. I mean, this is also us saying, God, do, 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 do. Uh, let me speak it to the mic. God, I'm ready. Thank you. Okay, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? God, I don't, I don't entertain shit like this no more. Thank you. I'm completely with you. I'm completely in control. Where, where are we going? Thank you. <laughs> like seriously, seriously, serious fucking Lee. Okay. So, ladies, we are on our path. And God is applauding us on our way. I really do say, listen, everyone looks up to the guy behind the guy. Like, you are most definitely looking up to God. Like I said, that hierophant energy. Like, you've been getting a lot of past training and a lot of vast learning. What is this? The queen of clubs, bitch. You are the queen of the pack. Okay, come on, Patra. The queen of the pack. And you see how she got that heart on her chest. You know? Her heart on her chest. She has not forgotten love. It don't matter. It don't matter if she done sung the blues before. Okay? Because you're a liar and you're a cheat. I do not know the fucking words of that song. It's something, something, another love like you. Something. Ooh, what is that song? Ooh, that Aretha Franklin song. Ooh, something about she be like, because you're a liar and you're a cheat. She doing a whole bunch of screaming and shit. Oh, okay. Oh, Nana. Oh, that's my name. Oh, Nana. Oh, that's my name. Yes, honey. You the queen of the pack right here. The queen of clubs. The queen of clubs is a very social, vivacious woman. She is like... She is the life of the party. Do you understand? Everybody, I feel like everyone knows your name. You guys are getting a second chance of love. I really do feel like you're wearing your heart. You're putting your heart out there a little bit. Like, you're not scared to put your heart out there no more. You got nice. You warm. You warm. Like, you're prepared for any type of weather. Do you understand what I'm saying? You know how to... You know how to protect your heart. Put on something warm. And you know how to, like, put your hair down. You know what I'm saying? The step in the hearts, this is a second chance to love. This is a chance to love all over again, like I told you. Her heart is out there. Her heart is out there. Her heart is out there. Let's clarify these, even though I don't really need clarification. But I like to give you guys keywords so that you guys can learn with me. The king of hearts, you don't... I mean, the king of hearts is the fucking king of hearts. We don't need to go into that. Now, uh... The nine of clubs, like I said, we good out here in these streets. The nine of clubs, traditionally a card of luck, of travel, of achievements, luck of business, lucrative business opportunities, a lucky break or a successful career move. You made the best move for you. The best move for you. You were completely blind to this toxic energy because you know the devil in reverse can represent someone that is continuously in affairs that has addictions to like cheating or just drama you know just a lot of negative stuff attached to it and you don't communicate with immature individuals like that no more that is beneath you that is something from your path that is something long away that you don't even deal with anymore. You don't give a fuck how good someone looks. It's not worth the drama. Do you understand? You've moved a long way away from that. This says, this represents time, space, and distance. Someone or something far away. This is far away from you. Um, a long duration, long lasting, surrounded by spades. This card can denote postponements or delays. We don't have no spades. You understand? It's something far away from us. It's also a card of travel and notates time and distance. This card can represent a journey for business or for pleasure. It can also represent an emotional, a psychological or a spiritual journey or a quest for self. You understand? So 
you had a long journey and it took a long process for you to get to this point but it's over and it doesn't even have to like i say represent a specific person it just represents anything from that past life that looks smells tastes like or sounds like anything that is negative anything that will hurt you anything that will be unfulfilling the joker card you already know this is the joker um the full card in the reverse. So this is lack of faith. This is you having to take the risk and be a rebel. Because it took a lot out of you to walk away from this. To not believe in this anymore. To not participate in this anymore. Do you understand? To elevate. To realize that I'm better off elsewhere. You know? I have a better future somewhere else. Your ships have come in. You know how to juggle what really is a value to you and that seems like you working towards your achievements and you trying to strengthen your environment like your work sector your 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 home sector like things like that and your spirituality that seems like what you've been juggling and you had to leave that shit behind and not believe in that falsehood and unrequited love so that you could love again. Like I said, so you could get this second chance to say, oh, no, nah, no, nah, what's my name? Hmm. Anyway, the Ace of Spades. The Ace of Spades, traditionally the death card, but rarely physical death. Death and rebirth. An ending and new beginning. Transformation, a major life change. The skull of the mind, knowing better, making an announcement. An important decision that brings change, all right? All right, all right. And it also says worry and anxiety. I really, like I said, it was a risk that you had to take a real serious risk. You kind of had to go and just jump into it without really asking questions. You just had to just do what you had to do. You know what I'm saying? You had to take a risk and not know what was on the other side. You just had to do what you had to do. And... You just put yourself out there just knowing that God's going to bless me with a second chance to love all over again. So, the queen of clubs. A businesswoman, a female co-worker, a good advisor, a trusted female or a friend, a social butterfly. She is active, industrious, a reliable woman who is well-liked and has a great business sense. You had great business sense. You made the best fucking move for you and you put your blinders on to the bullshit okay she could represent a socially active and a driven woman who enjoys clubs society and other social functions she runs her home efficiently look your home is peaceful didn't i tell you your home is peaceful brand new you done redid everything listen hold on now she got a song talk about um make me over Make me nice, make me over. Yes, make me over, okay? And then it says she likes to keep busy. She's a hard worker and prefers to be an active participant in life. You done made yourself over. You done made yourself real nice, honey. <laughs> you see, you got your fur rubber -ru -ru on, being her rubber. -ru -ru. Come on now. Like I told you, you're on the side of beauty and on the side of grace let's see what miss viana is saying the seven of hearts peaceful surroundings healing steady improvement happy surprises the cycle of life a second chance the opportunity to redo something things that come in two. oh nana what's my name bitch make me over Make me motherfucking nice, girl. Yes, come on. What I told you, everyone looks up to the guy behind the guy. Mm-hmm. Don't ask me why I'm so blessed like that. Just know it's the God in me. Everyone needs to look up to the guy behind the God. Okay, he's the one that pulled me through. He's the one that pulled me to New York, New York, the city of lights. Okay? <laughs> Listen, it says again, fly yourself to the moon of your choice. You only get one shot at life, so aim high. Yes, we get a second chance to be made over, to be made nice, to be in control, to be the emperor, to be the captain of our own fate and the master of our destiny. Yes. Come on, make me over, make me nice. Yes. Come on. I want to be made over, make me over. Ooh, 
Ooh, the letter. Are we getting some communication? Somebody just got a new job. Someone just got accepted for um, a loan for a new house. Yes, indeed, my lady. You are elevating. You are elevating. Okay. The child. New beginnings. New beginnings. Again, I really do feel like you're going... Something about the... Of your original state. The child could represent studying and curiosity about. And then the 13 that represents the death card. I really want to say you guys have been rebirthed. That, and the two ladies. The locket. Okay. So we got the letter. There's some communication here. We got this lady. We got the child, we got this lady, and we got the locket. Hmm. Let's figure out what's going on here. I really want to say, I think that this has um something to do with, I just heard an inheritance. I feel like you might be inheriting, uh... Some type of stature or position or something like that. I just heard law. Something about studying law. Um, like someone might have inherited something. Like, uh, okay. Let me. There's a letter about the inheritance. There's a document. There's a document. And I feel like it's something that um, did you hold on the key yeah I feel like you guys are going to inherit like your family home or something like that like some of you guys are moving into like your family's house or some shit like that. Some place that you were living in or that you used to visit when you were a child or something like that. But you're opening, like you're walking into a new home. A new threshold. I feel like you're nervous about it. It's a lot of conversations. You feel like... I feel like you just moved or something and you just inherited like a new house or... Something like that. Or maybe you guys just might be moving, period. And you feel like people are looking at you and they're watching you and you're nervous because you feel like they're waiting for you to fail or something like that. But you're not with this fish. You're like, you're moving towards, like, you're, they're fucking not. Like, you're not at all. So, in regards to this woman right here. In regards to this woman right here, like I said, you're going to inherit something. It could even just you just be inherited some new information about a job opportunity or an investment opportunity or some houses on the market. You should go for it or stuff like that. And you're most definitely going to get the key, you know, and I feel like everyone that's ever doubted you, they're going to be on the outside looking in. And the only thing they can do is sit on the outside looking in and just chatter and gossip about how you come up and you've moved on towards success and better health. Like, I really do feel like you guys have, you took a risk that put you in a point where God is blessing you, where your ships have come in. And like I said, you have been rebirthed anew. Like, you have this childlike energy and this spunk and stuff with you where you've been made over. And everyone that's ever doubted you, everyone that ever had anything to say about you, they're having to witness you walking into this new threshold. They're sitting back watching, they're talking. They're worried about you, they're nervous. You understand what I'm saying? And they're pushing their nervousness onto you. But your finances, your money, your health, everything, your environment is brand new. It's brand new. Now, this lady, this lady is focused on her new beginnings. I feel like this one is focusing on her heart. This one is focusing on her heart. Let's find out about this lady. I feel like there's two groups of ladies. Because I don't feel like you guys have anything to do with each other. 
I just feel like it's two groups of women. The moon, intuition. So, I feel like this woman right here, this one, the fair skinned lady, her heart is on her mind. She just wants happiness. Like, she just wants to be cherished. She just wants to enjoy life. She just wants to be able to harness and nurture her her heart's emotions. She really just wants happiness and bliss and things. And right here, I really do feel like her intuition is moving her towards her dreams. She's just been dreaming. She's been dreaming about love. Like that's all she's been dreaming about is like new love. That child, like new love. Crossroads. Hmm. Writer. This one has just been fantasizing about new love. But it's, it's still in some type of crossroads where I feel like their emotions are still divided. Maybe that's why I put this over here. I don't even know why I laid that over here. I feel like this one's emotions are still divided. Hoping and dreaming and wishing that this one would just like magically appear and just show up or some shit like that. I feel like this one is still... Yeah, this one still feels like there's still some type of destiny attached to this. This locket, I feel like they keep their emotions and stuff hidden in the shadows with this moon. They still have some type of attachment locked up deep inside their heart. And they're still in the crossroads because they, they still are hoping and wishing they keep thinking that they're seeing some signs or some shit like that. That this person is somehow changed and is going to magically appear. But they're not. This person isn't communicating. It's still false love. This person ain't nothing different. Yeah. That situation has been cut out of your life for good. So that new seeds can grow. So whoever this is, I really do feel like. Y'all still, like, stuck on some level of nostalgia about the past or something. And it's a secret. I really do feel like it's a secret. It's something that you're holding on to. And that's why you're still in this crossroad. But this one right here, only thing she's focusing on is starting all over. Like, that's the only thing this one is focused on, starting all over. That's it. That's it. That's fucking it. That's fucking it. Let's get some guidance over here. Because we all starting over. What is this? The fox. The mice. Yep. The tree. Continue to seclude yourself. And not. Okay. Continue to seclude yourself. If you want this second chance in love. If you want this new beginning. Like. You know what mistakes that you've made in the past. And that's why you've isolated yourself with this tree. And you've secluded yourself in an environment where you got made over. You got made nice. Made nice. Like I, these people can't even attach themselves to you or get around you. Because you've secluded yourself to a, a point where you've planted new roots. You have vast waters. You have vast um you're in such an environment that you're secluded to yourself where you're able to grow. I don't feel like any of these foxes or any of these past mistakes can even get to you. Because I really do feel like you're isolated and that you, you're not, you're not close for them to be able to get to you. Do you understand what I'm saying? So for the ones, because mice, this is deception, treachery, manipulation, Deceptive, evil people, mice's worries, mistakes, problems, chaos, anxiety, just drama, problems. Do you understand what I'm saying? You, nothing is near you for this to come near you. That's why you're being able to give in a second chance because you're following God's instructions. 
to not even entertain these things. And for the ones that are still, that are over here, because like I said, I don't know why I moved it over here. It just, I just naturally did it. And I think that I did that for a reason, because I do feel like there are two second, there's two groups here. There's two groups. There's two groups, okay? There's someone that's still into this fantasy, still feeling like, I mean, because the moon is fantasy, illusions. You know what I'm saying? It's illusions. And you got to be careful with the moon card because the moon can easily trigger into, like, mental health where it's borderline obsessiveness and crazy and, like, extreme delusion and, you know... You got to watch yourself. You know what I'm saying? Because that last card is saying that you need to cut this out. Because at the end of the day, I, you're keeping yourself stuck in a crossroad, hoping and wishing that someone's just going to magically appear because you're seeing a whole bunch of signs. This is someone believing. I'll be seeing 11 11. I'll be seeing this and this and that. This person's going to come to. And it's like, stop playing yourself. Do you understand what I'm saying? Stop playing yourself. You made boss moves. You made the best moves for yourself. Do you understand it? So that you could learn to be blind to motherfuckers like this. So why are you still fantasizing and, and, and why are you still fantasizing drama and chaos into your life when you are so far away from it? You're going to manifest your own demise here. Look, the fool. Stop being a fool. Please stop being a fool. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, no one can lead you down this path but yourself. You have to get your mind and stuff in control. You can't just jump yourself out there just because you're having tender, subtle moments. So you're thinking of the past and how much you love this person and you wish and woulda, shoulda, coulda, blah, blah, blah. And you're like holding on to this fantasy of this person just popping up at your door and everything just magically appearing and everything just going to be it's foolishness do you understand what i'm saying and you didn't go through everything that you went through to still have faith in something that is ridiculous do you understand we are moving towards the city of dreams but not toxic dreams do you understand stop being a fool here okay Stop being a fool because at the end of the day, if you allow yourself to get pulled back into this, you don't have no one to blame but yourself. But my OGs, they are like, um, Reds, let's get over here. Thank you. Because, <laughs> like, we just want to give y'all that quick message and it's stop being a fool. Stop being a fool. You see everything that's lurking behind this person. This person ain't changed. The page of cups in reverse, this person is not really expressing love towards you. So why are you still dreaming? You want to be in an unrequited love, a situation with someone cheating on you, manipulation, manipulating you. You know, they feel like they bad with that Michael Jackson energy. And, you know, they telling you Billie Jean ain't my lover. Like, don't nobody got time for that shit. What is it? For participation. Listen, all hands on deck. For my baby over here, God is like, listen, I told you that you were being inherited a blessing where everyone is going to watch you come up. The full wands right here. This is like extreme stability on all ends. Like, thank you for your participation in this journey. Because God is blessing you with extreme stability. Continue your action forward. Continue. Because I'm trying to tell you. The fish. Let me read you the fish. The fish represents wealth. Money. Okay. Okay. The fish represents, oh God, Lord Jesus. The fish represents money, finances, wealth increasing, indulges, desires, wishes being made, luxury, excess, commerce, trade, exchange, entrepreneurs, independence, elusiveness, water. I told you, and here you are, number five, that tree in that water. All right, that tree in that water. Let me read this to you. All right. The tree represents life, health, body, grounded mind, reflection, spiritual beliefs, earth, legacy, time, sacrificing, recovery, relative, growth, environment, nature, spiritual, personal growth. I told you. Okay. God is rewarding you for your strength. 
God is rewarding you for the strength. And I, I, I don't know why, but this looks like an elephant to me. And I don't know why this looks like an elephant to me. It was a long, hard journey, but you made it. And, and you are being rewarded for your patience and your participation. And we are walking towards victory. Continue to isolate yourself and continue to heal and grow and to keep yourself separated from that. Listen, letting go. Emotionally letting go, y'all. Emotionally let go and y'all walked away from anything that wasn't serving to you. Anything that wasn't serving to you. You guys let go. You guys were successful in that. Listen, you guys do not entertain nothingness. You guys don't entertain that. And that's that hierophant in reverse. You guys do not participate in things that you know devalue you. If someone is coming to the table with nothing, that's exactly what you give them. Nothing. <laughs> and that's your spiritual beliefs. I don't entertain people that don't have any... If you don't have any beliefs, you don't have any integrity, you don't know your worth. We do not entertain and have faith in shit like that. We don't. We bring in too much to the table to entertain nothingness. Do you understand? Let's go on over here. Please clarify this seclusion with this tree, the mice, and the fox around this queen of clubs working on her second chance of love and life what is this friendliness yeah we're not opening we're not opening our emotions to things like this we are <laughs> we are working what is this a bun okay come on we don't make friends with the devil. Do you understand what I'm saying? We're sitting back like I told you. We're focused on our abundance and our blessings coming in with the empress. I told you. And we're bringing in a man worth of wealth and abundance. All right. Come on now. We don't have it to do. We don't have it to do. Come on, Papa. Come on, Papa. Come on, Papa. Under the light of the sun and the darkness of the moon. Honey, we done been pulled through. Don't do me right now. Please don't do me. I thought you knew me right now. I really did. I thought you knew me. We separated ourselves for a reason. <laughs> Not for a season, but for a reason, bitch. Give us guidance and love, my divine fine. My divine and fine. It says, give thanks to the blessings of love soon to come your way. Know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires. Come on. Come on. Listen, don't let... Look, look at look at look at him and look at she. Look at him and look at she with the abundance. Come on now. We don't make friends with the enemy. We don't entertain we don't entertain nothingness. We don't. We ooh, and then say, ooh, it's ooh. Secret admirer. Hold on, bitch. It says someone has a deeper feelings for you than they're letting on. Oh, ladies, do we got a secret admirer for ooh? And then under that it was the ooh. Oh, it says embrace. It says through each other, you will find missing pieces. Oh, ladies, I think we got a secret admirer. And it says give thanks to the blessings soon to come our way and know that we deserve another. Oh, and then the death card, listen to the transformation. It says your relationship with one another is about to deepen. Love conquers and transfers all things. Oh, ladies, I think we got a secret admirer. <laughs> Ooh, ooh, girl. Ooh, didn't I tell you that these motherfuckers about to walk, watch us walk through a threshold? Didn't I tell you? Hold on. Let me speak it to the mic. Hello. Thank you so much for your participation in the lessons from the past. Yeah, but we're about to act the ass. We're about to act the whole donkey out this bitch. Hold on. They ain't nothing worth having without taking a risk, okay? Sometimes you got to just jump out there, okay? And don't even know what's coming and just know that the Lord got you in the name of Jesus. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, give us some guidance about this. The secret admirer. Ah, oh, yeah. Ooh. My transformation. Didn't I tell you the death card? Listen, I told you on a child card, it's the number 13 in death card. The ace of spades, the death card. That's the death card. Honey, we definitely transform. We don't we don't frolic with the enemy, honey. Ooh, bad health. Hmm. Bad health. What is this? 
the coffin. Okay, so we, like I said, anything that was bringing us any type of stress and anxiety is over with. It's done. It's been buried and been rested. See, like I told you, we have most definitely upstaged. We've upstaged and evolved and we have redesigned who we are. We don't live in this place of, and like I told you, that tree represents health. It represents personal growth because I really do feel like that energy that we were holding on to in the past, it was bringing us bad health and stress. Distant horizon, like I told you, a lot of blessings are coming in. Your ships are coming in. And you see that anchor at the end? It's going to come in and it's going to be permanent. 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 Family room. Like I said, you guys, your family, your house, your home structure is going to change. It's going to change permanently. I told you guys, a lot of wealth and success is coming to you. You guys are moving into new homes, more healthy, more family oriented. Real, like the thief, the privileged lady, high honor. Okay, so I feel like whatever was stolen from you is coming back quickly. Quickly, it's coming back into your home. It's coming back to your home. I feel like that bad health is over. It's dead and gone. Whatever it was, the cancer in your life that was causing you distress, this anxiety, the depression, all of that is done. It's over with. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Right on top of the death card, followed up by the death card. New blessings. Are coming into this home. Every whatever was stolen from you in the past. Time we can't get back. Material things, yeah. I feel like whatever was stolen out of your home, or even if you had to walk away from your home, I believe that it's coming back to you. It's coming back to you in the form that you are going to be looked at as the privileged lady of high honor. Do you understand what I'm saying? You are going to be looked at as the privileged lady of high honor at the end of the day. And it's coming very soon into your house. Blessings. I really do feel like if you had financial woes, if you had issues with finances, with uh, just home security. I feel like home security. I feel like if you feel like that's been stolen from you in the past, like you are going to be put in the place of high honor. You're going to be the privileged lady. I really do feel like your dress, your wardrobe, everything is going to change. Your level of stability and tranquility, abundance is going to change just because you don't shut hands with the energy. You don't allow people to pull your energy down like that. And you are being looked at. And admired by someone that I don't even really think that you realize that looks at you like that. And this person may be looking at you like they're glad that you walked away from this shit. And that you're not being a fool no more. Because they seen how it was affecting your health and how it was, how it was affecting your appearance and how you carried yourself. And now that you have cleaned your house up and you allow these people to stop stealing time and your energy from you. You walk out the door abundant. Ever since you stopped those friendships and you stopped those alliances and stopped carrying yourself. Ever since you stopped carrying yourself with these people. Now you carry yourself with abundance and with and like the privileged lady and with her honor. And that's what you're attracting. It's like the laws of attraction. All right. So let's clarify this and let's get it out of here. All right. So give us guidance about this love, about the secret admirer. Ooh, the queen of pentacles. Be made over, be made nice. Like I told you, you feel like you were stripped naked in front of the world to see in the past. But actually, even though that you were stripped naked, 
in front of everyone and see you look kind of good up under them clothes, baby. You look kind of thick. You look kind of voluptuous. You're looking good, girl. You look good. You look good. The five of wands in reverse again. This is you not putting up with foolishness, not putting up with conflict, not. You don't compete with anyone. You are the queen. You are the queen of pentacles. That to me is like the empress, like like a step down from the empress. You guys have become the empress because the empress to me and the queen of pentacles is almost the same. Like they're good mothers. They take care of their houses. They take care of their children. They're always pregnant or birthing something new or planting something new they are women of value they're women of high stature of high honor of high privilege they always have their own money what is this this is the six of pentacles this is the four of wands what is this this is the five of cups in the reverse thank you so much thank you so much for the clarification so again so again I feel like this woman was stripped naked for the world to see. Like you were stripped down, but you got stripped down to be made over and be made nice. You got new fabrics now. Not only that, everyone sees the naked truth and they see you for who you are. And I really believe that they love it. Even being stripped down, you are even more beautiful. <laughs> you are even more beautiful. You understand what I'm saying? It's like, of course, you don't want nobody to see your body like that. But baby... You look like a Victoria's Secret or a Playboy pinup or something, honey. Like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. But I really do feel like you being stripped down like that and you saying, I don't compete. I'm not willing to fight. I'm not willing to belittle myself. I'm not willing to devalue myself. I'm a queen. And if you do not want to do, this is someone her king has to put in the same amount of work that she does. If this person is not willing to work with her, she will not. She will not devalue herself. She will not belittle herself. And because you did that, because you did that, and yes, you might have caught someone cheating on you, disrespecting you, and you stood up for yourself. You said, hold on. I only put in... I only put in what I see other people put in. So if this is what you're putting in, I won't put out. I only deal with people that value me. And there's an even giving and receiving. Do you understand what I'm saying? You will not devalue yourself by competing with someone who is trying to give to two. And you had to be stripped down in front of the world for you to realize your value. So, yes, something was stolen from you, but it made you better. You got made over. You learned your value and you learned not to spread yourself so thin and not to give yourself to people that are not going to give you that balance, attention and affection and not going to put that same amount of work in so that you ain't got to be caught up in no bullshit and be walking in on no bullshit. You understand what I'm saying? Because, motherfucker, don't be spreading your energy then give to two different motherfuckers. I need you to give all that energy to me. And if you ain't giving it all to me like I'm giving it to you, I will not even put my foot in the battle. It ain't worth fighting for. It ain't worth embarrassing myself for. Do you get me? Okay. You get me. You got me. Good. Okay. This woman has a brand new home with this four wands. This woman has a second chance in love. And as you see, we do have a secret admirer that will amount to marriage and love. Marriage and love, honey. Because we turned around and we stopped worrying and stopped being ridiculed and ruled emotionally. By this shit in the past. We said ashes to ashes. To dust to dust. And we stopped being a goddamn fool. We stopped being a fool. Because it was hurting us. It was hurting us holding on to that. We turned around and we looked at. What the future has to offer us. And we most definitely have embraced it. And we allowed. Too much time. 
to be stolen from us. We're getting a second chance at love. We're getting new houses, new jobs. I mean, new everything. Once we realize how to value ourselves in the stop fighting, listen, stop fighting and competing for something that was beneath us. Two cards saying that we, listen, we compete and we play. We don't play games. We don't do it. We damn sure ain't going to be competing for no debt. We the queen, baby. Queen of Pentacles. We the Empress. Too many blessings is coming in. You see them? You see the ship coming in? We got too much going on. We don't have time for it. We don't have it to do. We don't have it to do. Let's get one more. Let's see what this rebel, the rebel debt. So, um, this one is for my singles. Let's get some advice for my singles and then for my couples and then we about it here. For my singles. It says, get on your ass. It says, oh, go easy on your ass. Buy your own damn drink. Okay? It says, you are the best thing that ever happened to you. Go easy on your ass. Buy your own damn drink. Go out and celebrate and buy yourself something. Yeah. Oh, it says stop fucking whining. No one wants to listen to that shit. Complaining makes you weak. You have the strength to change the world, so do it. Okay, I get it. I get it. So it's like, I feel like you guys are waiting for someone to come and court you and take you out. I really, you guys might meet somebody. If you just go out and take your own self out. And stop complaining and whining. whining. It's, yes, it says get the fuck outside. Move your ass. Your body is pissed at you. Yet you need to go out by yourself. I feel like you guys are waiting for like your friends or someone to go out with you. Go out. Go out by yourself. Go out by yourself. Go just sit at the bar. Buy you a drink. And just be open to any type of conversation and to whoever comes and talks to you. And see what happens. And do not complain about anything in the past. Y'all got to let that shit go. And be open to new things. So for my couples, for my ladies that are in relationships. It says change yourself first. You want shit to get different? Change yourself first. You want shit to be different. Change yourself first. Was there another one that popped out? Any more guidance for my couples? It says. Your person is lucky. Remind them. You're hot. Smart. And you got a great ass. Alright. Now that's a good one. It says they need you. You need them. Your friends miss your face. You need to spend more time with your friends. It says, grow the fuck up. Ooh, tantrums are for babies. Grow the fuck up. You guys need to go out with your friends. It says, let shit go. Don't be so extra. Stop trying to control every damn thing. Well, you got to change yourself first if you want something different, my couples. You got to stop being so extra and let certain shit go. And it's saying that your friends miss you and you need to get out of the house too. Both of y'all need to get out of the house. And again, everyone looks up to the guy behind the guy. Fly yourself to the moon of your choice. You only get one shot. So aim high. My fine and my divine feminine. This has been y'all reading. I hope that y'all enjoyed this. Click that like button and I will not delay you ever again. And remember, I don't give a damn. How embarrassing whatever happened to you in the past. You ain't go through that for no reason, honey. You were being made over and you being made nice. And even though you got stripped down in front of the world to see, it's the testimony. Because they about to watch you. And I tell you, baby, they about to watch you put that key in and walk into the thresholds of your blessings. Do you understand? Of good wealth, good finances, 
and the best moves that you ever made in your life. Baby, I love you because you made the best move, the next move. Be made over. Be made nice. Shout out to all my empresses out here. Peace.